We've been told for so long that LDL cholesterol is the bad cholesterol, and that HDL is the good cholesterol. But what if there's a type of person who has extremely high LDL cholesterol, but seemingly no indication of heart disease whatsoever? On December 8th, groundbreaking data was released that could change the way we think about LDL cholesterol and its relationship to cardiovascular disease. Are high LDL levels always causative of heart disease? Stay until the end of this video to find out how this revolutionary data could change the study of heart disease as we know it. Also, I'm just a normal person doing research and trying to learn more about stuff, so this is by no means advice of any kind. The data was released in a presentation by Dr. Matt Budoff, head author of the Keto CCTA study, which is also referred to as the Lean Mass Hyperresponder Study, or LMHR study. Lean mass hyperresponders are types of people that exhibit high LDL cholesterol along with high HDL cholesterol and low triglycerides when on a low carb or keto diet. The study looked at 100 low mass hyperresponders with an average age of 55 years old and controlled for BMI, age, gender, race, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, hypertension, and past smoking history. In other words, all participants in the lean mass hyperresponder group and control group were of the same level of health. The participants had been on a keto diet for about five years and had a mean LDL level of 272 milligrams per deciliter, but with some having LDL as high as 600 milligrams per deciliter, compared to the control group's 123 milligrams per deciliter. Cardiac Computed Tomography and Geography, or CCTA, was used to look at the participants' coronary vessels to find out how much plaque buildup was present. Here's Dr. Budoff explaining the results of the study so far. So when we looked at this population, they were both 55 years old. Uh, again, the uh, lean mass hyperresponders had an LDL of 272 milligrams per deciliter on an average of 4.7 years duration. So it wasn't like this was one week of being having LDL that, this high. This was a, almost a five-year duration of having a ketogenic diet and an LDL above 190 milligrams per deciliter. When we compared them to patients with more normal uh, LDLs, LDL mean LDL of 123, there was no difference in coronary plaque burden. So we did not see any uh, evidence that this LDL of 272 induced more atherosclerosis over this five-year period. We looked at calcium score. We looked at total plaque score on the CT angiogram, and neither of them showed any differences whatsoever. There was no relationship between LDL cholesterol and elevations in uh, uh, presence of plaque. The CCTA scans show that the lean mass hyperresponder group with highly elevated LDL cholesterol levels had no statistical difference from the group with normal levels of LDL. Budoff says that this is just a starting point and the participants will be monitored for another year to see if there are any changes or increases in the CCTA results. Here's further explanation of the results so far. When we look across the different cohorts, you can see LDL um, uh, up and down, and the uh, plaque distribution in, in green, there was no difference between these two groups. As a matter of fact, the area under the curve was identical. So there was absolutely no increase in plaque uh, between the lean mass hyperresponders with an LDL cholesterol of 272 milligrams per deciliter and the Miami heart population, which had an LDL cholesterol of 123 milligrams per deciliter, again, matched across all other variables that we could match. What's nuts about this study, other than the fact that there was no correlation between LDL level and plaque buildup in the arteries, is that Budoff is actually one of the leading experts in early detection of cardiac events. That means he really knows what he's talking about. I highly recommend that everyone watch the full presentation. It's about 17 minutes long and is incredibly informative. The link is in the description of this video. It's also important to say that Budoff emphasizes that this data is a baseline for the prospective study that will be conducted this year. The high LDL after 4.7 years of a keto diet and no atherosclerosis is a starting point. The measurement after one year to see if any plaque buildup regresses will ultimately show us whether the lean mass hyperresponder group is impacted by the high LDL levels. Some other things of note, Budoff thinks that the reason why lean mass hyperresponders might be producing so much LDL might be due to low glycogen stores from the keto diet, causing the liver to produce massive amounts of LDL. Uh, that's it in a nutshell, but he describes it in much more detail in the talk.
When questioned if this means the end of the LDL heart disease hypothesis, Budoff responds. So there's still a very strong relationship between LDL and cardiovascular events, but I don't think everybody is susceptible to LDL. And this, again, I think is a unique population where their LDL is up for a different reason than genetically elevated LDL cholesterol. So I don't want to... No, this is fascinating. I'm a believer in LDL. Another awesome fact about this study is that it was crowdfunded by a citizen science group. So what does this mean for us? This study is the first of its kind, but it serves as a reminder that we still have a lot to learn about the human body and how everything works. It's an example of how nuance can't be ignored and how science has the capacity to change over time as scientists and medical doctors make new discoveries. Moreover, it's incredibly exciting to see a decades-old hypothesis being developed and improved upon in real time. The internet is an awesome thing, and we're living in a truly amazing time. It also shows that we need to constantly question and learn because the answers are not always black and white. It shows that sometimes there's not one answer. The answer for a normal person might be different than a lean mass hyperresponder, which might be different from a person who is genetically predisposed to having high levels of LDL at baseline. But what do you think? Have you ever tried a ketogenic diet and been told by your doctor that your LDL levels are too high? Do you think the lean mass hyperresponder group will develop more coronary plaque after a year of recording data? Please let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you learned something new in this video and would like more content like this. Please share this video if you found it interesting and check out Dr. Budoff's full presentation linked below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.